wanted to do something different. So no selfie sticks, no phone, just my DSLR and different angles. Skyline Tower, 15 bucks. Cave of the Winds, 7 Hotel bucks. Hotel Rooms of the View, Prospect Point and Made of the Mist, 80. Let's find free viewing spots. At first I tried hiking, but I got distracted. And before I ran out of time, I opted for the whitewater walk. The walk leads you right next to the most dangerous whitewater rapids of the world. Go in the morning because that's when the sun hits everything just right. Ah, I just got wet. For this, I crossed from the Canadian side over to the USA. You can find plenty of lookouts here, some are free, others not so much. Then make your way to Goat Island and branch off every now and then so you can see both the American as well as the Horseshoe Falls. Then smile at the people taking drenched selfies down below. Don't be too shy to ask strangers for photos and let them press the shutter down for burst mode. At least one of their photos should be nice this way. Then just find a quiet spot like this. There's absolutely no one here looking at the sunset. They're all down there, not even seeing the sun. So sunset is the best time to come to the Horseshoe in American Falls because they're illuminated from the Canadian side and they just sparkle beautifully. It's all about the composition as well. You can take a picture like this or like this. If you're shooting for a sunset, wait until after the sun is set as well. Don't leave because that's when actually the colors explode and look like this. And that was it from Niagara Falls. So stay travel fantastic and see you around.